everyone and welcome to Nav's Kind of Life, Baking Edition. What you just witnessed was me reacting to season one of Game of Thrones. Yes, that's right, I said season one. I am very out of the loop, so this weekend I binge watched the first season, I'm trying to catch up, and I had been receiving a lot of requests for a Game of Thrones themed video, so here you have it, Game of Thrones cake pops. I thought I was being very clever by making little staked heads on cake pops has been done before, but I found this amazing recipe for Ned Stark Staked Head Cake Pops on a blog called Not Your Mama's Cookie. So the first thing you need to do is wash your hands and put your hair up if it's long or put a hat on even if it's not long because nobody wants hair in their food. The next thing you'll have to do is make the cake for the cake pops. So the recipe I found suggested using red velvet cake mix that it looks nice and gory. So I found this boxed cake mix, because let's be real, red velvet cake is just an excuse to eat a bunch of cream cheese icing. So what you need for that is cream cheese, softened butter, and confectioner's sugar or icing sugar. I'd like to stress that you need softened butter and not melted butter, because if you melt the butter, the cream cheese will in fact curdle and look like this, which looks like vomit. This might make me very sick, I'm not sure, might be fine. It's just separated, it's just a little separated. It's fine, it's fine, right? You know, if it gives me diarrhea, that's fine. <laughs> Once your cake is cooled, you're gonna break up the cake, you're gonna throw it in a bowl, and you're gonna mix that cream cheese icing in so that it is moldable, which is not a word. And then the fun part is making these little balls. Now that I have all my cake balls, I'm gonna pop these in the fridge and wait for them to cool so that I can work with them. Okay, <laughs> so we're gonna stake it through. Ooh, it's falling apart. It's on. It's, it's falling off. Now the fun part is dipping it in the candy. So at a bulk food store, I found these tinted like white chocolate. All you have to do to melt the chocolate candy dip is actually just microwave it. Um, if you don't have a microwave, it, you can also do it on a stove by boiling some water and then melting it in a bowl that floats atop the water. Atop the water! So for Ned Stark, we're gonna use mostly yellow. I'm just gonna eyeball this. I'm gonna pop these in the microwave. For 15 seconds at a time, and then I'll stir it up. Ooh! Nope! 15 seconds at a time, and then I'll stir it up. Ooh! Nope! <laughs> oh my god! This is not microwavable. Set my house on fire. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna microwave these now in a microwavable safe bowl. So we've got this all mixed up now. I'm gonna dip it in. So I've got my dipped cake pops and I put them in the fridge to let them cool. Create the hair added on and it's okay if it's messy. He did just get his head cut off. Give him a little beard, of course. For the eyes, I bought these food writers. Basically, it's just a marker, but it's food coloring. I'm gonna add little X's for eyes. I'm gonna add a little more blood to it. I thought it would be cool to actually use this decorative gel because it kind of gives it more of a, a bloody, gory effect here. And there you have it, Ned Stark Game of Thrones cake pops and my first adventure in baking. If you liked this video, don't forget to share it with your friends and hit subscribe. And please share your creations with me at kindatv underscore using the hashtag kindasocial. Also, leave me a comment below with who your favorite Game of Thrones character is and what your favorite kind of cake is. My favorite kind of cake is just a bowl of cream cheese icing. It's not really cake at all. Oh, that's actually not bad. Oh, it is brain. Hmm. Whoa! Onward, dragon! Whoa there! See that subscribe button? You should click it. Ah!